Welcome to Marcus Park Mega Park. This is going to be episode number 10 in the, my series. Today we're over in my newest section that I built, which is the uh, medieval section, castle section there. As you can see, I'm going around the park there. We built us a marketplace. And I added a couple of flat rides. We got us a cups ride in there. We got us a double axe ride. And I also added a um, go kart section in there. So it's up and running and running really nice. I did some. Uh, pre-construction there uh, for this ride this is going to be a uh, bobsled ride uh, it's got the medieval theme to it where the with the rat cars and so I'm gonna call it the black death and so we're gonna get that up and running here in just a second we're gonna build it I took some ideas from the original it had a pre-built in there uh, called the plague I think it was called the plague but uh, I call this from the black death that's what it's called black death ride so I just shortened it to that so we're building up here. It's not going to be too tall, but I am going to make sure that it um, has a has some good stats to it. Uh, I got a couple of ideas here. So we're going down the first hill there, and then we're going to go right into a, a round house area there. We're going to go up, so we're going to climb upwards this time, uh, get some a little bit of elevation after the first steep hill. Now, as you're going to see there, I originally wanted to turn it to the right and loop back and go underneath the um, the, the first hill, but I wanted it also to interact with the uh, the terrain that I had uh, already pre-built, and that wasn't working out quite right. So I had to go back, think about it, and we're still going to put that turn in, but we're going to go to the left this time and around, and we're going to take it down, and then we're going to head back out there. We're going to come down and around this terrain we're going to shoot around it come back out the other side there you go just like that right there and then uh, we're going to uh, go out there I ended up being right underneath my main lift hill I didn't want that so I'm going to put an s-bend in it to uh, get it out from underneath there plus the s-bends also add to the excitement value of the ride I didn't quite line up the way I wanted it to so I had to go there and uh, we got to put another S-Bend in it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down a little bit lower, take it down to from level 2 to, or level 4 to level 2, and we're going to go right through the rock. Works out really good. I like, I like the way that's going to turn out there. And out we go, and along the back side there. Now we're going to, there's a little bit of a speed run here. We're going to get it, another S-Bend. And then we're going to hit a chain lift. I'm going to put a chain lift up to burn off some speed and to get it up a little bit so we can make it on back to the station. Because you know as these uh, things go, they get going too fast, they can uh, jump the track very easily. So there we go. we got it going up three levels. And then we're going to straighten it out for a little bit. And then we're going to cut back down to build up just a little bit more speed on it. And we come up to another piece of terrain that I built there. We're going to go up and we're going to go through that rock there we go real nice I like the way that came out have to make you a slight adjustment and there you go around the corner and we're going to head back to the station time to put a block break in we're going to take another turn we've already lined up for um, the entrance into the station there we go at the height already Going to throw one last block break in, hit the station, and boom, station is complete. Now it's time to do a little bit of testing. I got too many trains on the track though, that's one thing I didn't want to have too many trains, it's going to bog it down. Plus each train had a, a lot more cars, I didn't want it to be snaking. So I trimmed that down, we cut it down to three trains and six cars per train. I think that's going to be nice. That way we don't have the, we can keep the ride running without having to get the guests impatiently waiting for the uh, next train to clear the, the section of, of block break. Throw in a few trees for some general park aesthetics. Looking nice. It's really not going that fast, you know. I got to, I got it up to like times two speed to get everything running. And then uh, we're going to change the color scheme because I, 
who wants a medieval death ride that's all bright and cheerful? So we're going to change up the color scheme and get it more of a, a dingy, dull, medieval type look about it. Some grays, some blacks, some browns. Change the color of the, the cars to a, a brown and a gray color. It's looking real good there, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. There's my stats right there. It's got some good stats, no red in the the track design, so that's great. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll be seeing you next time, guys. In the meantime, enjoy the Black Death.